Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi. So I was born and raised in New York City, or as we like to call it, the city. Okay. There's no other. But before moving to Boston, I did stay, I did stay for 33 years, 5 months, 15 days, 4 minutes, and 33 seconds in Connecticut. <laughs> and then finally, after all that time, I got paroled. <laughs> Now, I really wasn't in prison. It's just that living in Connecticut felt that way. Minus the group showers. I heard they did away with that before I moved there. So, it is just so boring there. There's nothing to do. How boring is it, you may ask? How boring is it? Thank you very much. That's the end of the interactive part. It is so boring, you're never going to hear contestants on Family Feud being asked to name fun things to do in Connecticut. Because there aren't any. And don't say casinos. They're only fun if you're winning. And, and, and the worst thing that can happen to a, to a criminal convicted of a major crime in Connecticut is to be sentenced to life in Connecticut without the possibility of leaving. I think if you gave them a choice, they'd take the death penalty. But now that I'm here in the Boston area, I really enjoy it here. It has that big city feel that I'm used to, from way back when I lived in the city. But there, I've noticed a few oddities, a few idiosyncrasies, so to speak, about living here, such as people here tend to want to abbreviate as much as possible, or why I don't know. For example, I live in Arlington, off of Massachusetts Avenue, but nobody here calls it that. You don't even call it Mass Avenue. You call it Mass Ave. So I can take Mass Ave into Boston and get on the Mass Pike. Another abbreviation. My daughter, who came here to Boston area before I did, used to live in Jamaica Plain. You don't call it Jamaica Plain. You call it JP. And JP is not all that far from Southie. And you can get to Southie and JP by taking the T. How do you keep up with this stuff? I have no idea. And speaking of the tea, who the heck came up with the green line? What a disaster that is. A five-year-old with crayons? Did the, con did the contract who built it order too many curved tracks? Now, I, have, I don't drink very much. I don't remember when I was drunk last. But when I take the green line, when it's in Boston underground, what a wild ride that is. Even if I'm sitting down, I've got to hold on for dear life. And the noise, hey, MBTA, there's a new invention. It's called grease. <laughs> Try some on those wheels, please. And now it brings me to your sports teams that you abbreviate. The Bruins are the Bs. The Celtics are the Cs. The Boston Red Sox are the Bo Sox. The Boston, I'm sorry, New England Patriots are the Pats. Do fans in other cities do the same thing to their team's names? Well. Do the fans of the Houston Astros baseball team call their team the very good? You got the joke. Call, call their team the Asses? Do the fans of the Toronto Blue Jays call their team the Bee Jays? No, I'm not going to. It's PG. I'm not going to tell you why, but I think you can figure it out. And that brings me back to the Pats, and specifically Tom Brady. Great quarterback, sorry he lost and the team lost, they won't be in the Super Bowl, we'll have to think of something else to do that, that day. But the, the thing is this, you treat him like a deity here. Now when I was growing up in the city, in the Stone Age, the quarterback for the Jets was Joe Namath. As popular, as famous a quarterback as Brady is today. But we knew in the city that he did not walk on water. That's why I think the Pope, when he came here last year, did not visit Boston. He knew he couldn't compete with Tom <laughs> Terrific. Besides, I heard he's really a baseball fan. He roots for the Cardinals. Boom. Well, I usually would say goodnight, but maybe I'll say GN and peace.